How you doing? I'm Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and in this video I'm going to give you tips on how to shoot a compound bow for beginners. One of the reasons I really feel I need to do this now is I'm seeing more and more videos pop up on this topic and people have been given bad advice and of course a beginner is not going to know how to detect that so I'm going to maybe uh, hopefully clear some of that up. So as a beginner you get a bow in your hand what is the very first thing you should do? One is solidify your grip. You're holding the bow, that's the first thing you're doing, so let's solidify the grip. First of all, you don't want to grip the bow handle like this. In fact, you don't even want to follow the grip itself. The grip is vertical, your hand's not going to be vertical, your hand's going to be on an angle, your knuckles are going to be close to a 45 degree angle away from the bow. So you put your hand on the bow, here it is in the vertical position, you rotate your hand out, so this meat under by your thumb is really what's in contact with the bow. Here is the biggest thing I see people telling beginners sometimes and this is the worst advice is to have your hand open like this. Don't ever shoot a bow with your hand open like this and I'm going to give you two very important reasons why especially if you plan to hunt. I have a close friend who did this last year he was shooting with his hand open like that and the razor blade from his broadhead that he uses for hunting gashed his hand open so now he had to track and take care of his first buck that he ever got and he's bleeding profusely through the forest trying to stop the bleeding. It was a disaster and you know he practices like this and when he was in the heat of the moment in a hunting situation he had his hand open well maybe his finger was up a little bit and the blade caught him and cut him real bad. Don't ever hold your hand open for that reason, but here's two more reasons why you don't ever want to hold your hand open like that. One, the more you use muscles that you don't need in archery, the greater your chance of throwing off the shot. When my hand's open like this, I'm using muscles all through my palm to hold it open. And if I vary that a little bit from one shot to the next, that can throw my shot off. Here's another potential problem with that with holding your hand like that. You might have a tendency to grab at the bow after the shot goes off and grabbing at the bow can cause you to move the bow and that's going to throw off your shot. So when we talk about the grip don't hold the bow like that. Okay so here's what I do recommend you do. So the bow is in your palm, your fingers very relaxed. Um, as you can see my knuckles again are at a 40 to 45 degree angle away from the bow here and what I actually like to do I mean, you can just keep your fingers relaxed. But what I like to do, since I have a quiver on my bow and I hunt, I take my middle finger and I put it right in the palm of my hand and it helps me keep the bow vertical, helps stabilize the bow and offset that weight. I talk about that very extensively in my archery book, Sin and the Spirituality of Archery. If you're interested in a lot more detail regarding form and technique, you definitely want to check that out. So with the grip, everything's super relaxed. Uh, you're not going to grab at the bow. I recommend a sling, okay, for shooting. So when the bow goes off, that sling hits it, it's not going anywhere. You don't have to grab at the bow because grabbing at the bow, as I said before, could throw off your shot. All right, now let's talk a little bit about stance. Here's what I recommend for a beginner. First of all, be comfortable, feet about shoulder width apart. I don't recommend bending at the knees. I've seen a video where a guy suggested bending at the knees. I think that's a bad idea because you're activating muscles and you're also making the potential for something inconsistent because if you bend your knees this much on this shot, that much on the next, you're changing things about your shot. And one of the keys to archery is being consistent with your form, doing the same exact thing every time. Your bone structure in your leg is pretty set. So if you just stand normal, the uh, the bones are not going to have the variation like you're, you're bending at the knees will from one shot to the next. So legs fairly straight in that position. Now the target is this way so I recommend an open stance where you bring this front foot back a little bit and let me show you why. So if you're the target and I'm standing perpendicular to it uh, and I hold the bow, my arm, and I talk about this extensively in my book, Sin and Spirituality Archery, again, you should check that out if you're new to archery especially, because it goes, you know, through form very um, in detail. So anyway, if 
I pull the bow back and the string comes to the bow right here, my arm is somewhat in the way of the path of the string. But if I open up my stance like I just showed you, look at where my shoulder is in relation to you, the target. So I open my stance, my shoulder's over here. Now, now when I hold the bow, it creates more of a triangular shape here. So the path of the string is away from my arm. And that's really important for you as a beginner because you'll find out, and you may have already experienced this, um, it's easy to hit your arm with the string and it hurts very much and you should definitely wear an arm guard as a beginner. I talk a little bit about that in a video I just posted recently doing a review on, the, on a diamond compound bow which is intended for beginners. So if you haven't seen that, check that out as well because I had somebody who's been bow hunting for about three or four years who contacted me and said, hey, I've been bow hunting for three or four years and I learned more in that one video than I have about how compound bows work in the three, four years that I've been bow hunting. So um, there'll be a link for my archery tips and bow tuning playlist uh, in the description section of this video. So when you're done watching this, make sure you click on that and watch some of those videos. Now I'm gonna knock an arrow. You should never pull a bow back unless an arrow is knocked because you can risk dry firing the bow, which can damage or destroy the limbs cams, everything can go wrong, you could also get hurt. So I did do a video years and years ago where I did some archery tips and I did pull the bow back without an arrow only because right behind where the camera is right now is my house. And at that time I had the camera over there and I drew back facing the house and I wasn't going to risk having an arrow go off into the house. So that's the only time I've ever made that exception. So knock an arrow. In a compound bow, if you're shooting with a release, Virtually any, re, any arrow rest you're going to use nowadays is going to come up from the bottom of the arrow. So you want to make sure that your odd fletch is facing straight up. Normally you'll have you know, two fletches of one color and one of another. That odd color fletch is facing up. I'm a Christian and I love Jesus, so I made my own arrows and I put a little cross on them. Whatever. So you knock your arrow before you draw your bow and always make sure you're pointed safely at a target. I have a target right over here about 20 yards away. And you, you establish your grip like I talked about. See my hand right there, nice and relaxed fingers. Draw your bow to an anchor point. Now watch the tip, my, my nose is gonna to touch the tip of the string. And a lot of people use what's called a kisser button. I use a real small knock point instead of a kisser button because I like to have a real precise anchor point. And I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna put it right in behind my jaw here. So I have three touch points. The more touch points you can have and establish in your anchor point, the more consistent you'll be able to be with hitting the same anchor point every time. And that's gonna be huge when it comes to shooting accurately and consistently. See how my hand came straight back? Here's a couple more things for you to keep in mind. When it comes time to draw the bow, you wanna be able to point your arrow directly at the target and you want your finger, if you're using this style of release, you put your finger behind the trigger, even with a slight forward little bit of pressure or just way behind the trigger. I used to do lessons and people would put their finger up here or even on the trigger and at some point during the shot, they would go off accidentally you always want to avoid that by having your finger behind the trigger during the draw process. Always think safety first. Hands back here. There's nothing to disengage that trigger. So point the arrow straight at the target. Come to full draw. When you're at full draw and in your anchor point, then you bring your finger around for the shot to aim and take the shot. I will also say this. If you are unable to draw your bow with the arrow pointed straight at the target, which means your, your poundage, your draw weight is too high. You need to lower the poundage. Bows come with an adjustable draw weight, compound bows. And unless you're already at the bottom of the poundage range, you need to lower it until you can reach that time when you can pull it like this. Key things for a beginner. Establish their hand that holds the bow and establish a solid anchor point. You need to do the same thing every time. 
just do another shot so you can see how I, you know, I come the full draw and then I bring it into my face. I'm not moving my head all around. I talk about that in my tips to improve archery accuracy video. And there you go. Now I was kind of talking a little bit in those, but they're still pretty close to the bullseye. I'll show you, I'll just come over and zoom in. So as a beginner, solidify your hand that holds the bow and get that anchor point established. When you're in that anchor point, just relax and follow through with the shot. For more advanced archery shooting tips, make sure you go to my Sean's Outdoor YouTube channel and I have a playlist called Archery Tips and Bow Tuning. You definitely want to watch that. Also, as I mentioned, Sin and Spirituality Archery, I have that book which goes through a lot of aspects of form. And the word sin in archery means the distance you missed the bullseye, in case you didn't know that. So make sure you check all that stuff out. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and God bless.